Anyway, we're going to go back to Thompson. We cannot emphasize enough just how busy this offer can be. Bear in mind, you're going to be away for two weeks. The second week is all inclusive in Tenerife. You've got an amazing cruise. You're getting, I'm right in saying, yep, you're getting an outside for this price as well. It does not get better than this. You will miss out if you don't order tonight, believe me. So, what's Thompson like? Well, our lovely Keith Maynard, he worked with Thompson for many years. They are known for their great service, food, and outstanding award-winning entertainment. Here's our Keith to tell you more. With its uniquely British product, small, intimate ships, a great range of cruise and stay options, all tips included, an unrivaled number of regional airports you can fly from, plus a generous baggage allowance, it's little wonder that Thompson Cruises is turning heads. They boast one of the highest levels of repeat passengers in the industry, and after six years working for them, I can tell you why. They are without doubt the friendliest ships afloat. Some friends of mine who cruise a lot always pack two sizes of clothing. One for the start of the cruise, thank you, and one for the end. And once you've tasted the food on board, you'll understand why. It's international cuisine with a British twist. And with open sitting as standard, you won't need to rush trying to keep to the ship schedule. You can set the pace and enjoy up to seven meals a day. Trust me, it's possible. Whether it's a freshly pulled pint in a nightclub or sipping a cocktail of a day poolside, each of the bars on board Thompson Ships enjoys a unique and special personality. With honest low prices, juggling waiters and service with a smile, you're never more than two minutes walk away from a refreshing aperitif. The Thompson Cruises has some of the best entertainment afloat. In a two-week cruise, you'll see no fewer than ten full production shows and some great comedy from award-winning UK guest artists. Add to that fantastic interactive game shows, cabarets, and all singing, all dancing deck parties, and you really won't want to go back to your cabin. There is lots and lots of choice with the accommodation on board Thompson ships, from insides through to stunning suites. All are en suite, offer 24 hour room service, and two turn downs a day. The only surprise you're going to encounter is what your hand towel will be transformed into when you return every night. My favourite was always the monkey with the sunglasses. <laughs> it's my favourite too. <laughs> um, everyone says, and you know, whenever I've spoken to viewers that have cruised with Thompson, just an amazing atmosphere on board the ship. Yeah, really you know, good fun. Yeah, really good fun. Um, if you were paying six six nine for just a week away, it'd be yeah, great, wouldn't it? You wait two weeks. Two weeks, exactly, exactly. Anyway, Gemma, we're first of all starting off with our flight, aren't we? Yes, we are. So we are flying to Tenerife. Um, the deal that we're showing you is from London, but we can fly you from anywhere. Please just give us a call at Planet Cruise. The number is free. We can sort it out for you. So then we are embarking onto our ship for seven nights of cruising around the Canaries. So we will be arriving on day two in Las Palmas in Gran Canaria, which is a prime choice for sun worshippers and water babies as well. You've got beautiful soft sand beaches here and the island enjoys a really spring-like climate year-round. In fact, your average annual temperature is 69 degrees. Oh, How warm good. is that? I know. And according to residents, don't hold me to this, but according to residents, Gran Canaria has just 10 days of rain each year. Each year. <laughs> That's pretty good, isn't it? So Las Palmas has got a really distinctly Spanish feel and a very rich history. Christopher Columbus called here during his famous voyage of 1492. So you can actually go and visit the Columbus Museum and the ports palm tree lined streets are very clean very well laid out beautiful flowers everywhere and you don't have to go far to find a nice beach uh, Playa de las Canteras lies just just northwest of the downtown area and that's one of the longest city beaches in the world but if you want more than just beaches there's spectacular desert scenery that you can go and have a look at or you can go further afield and discover quaint old towns like Arucas and Terror or explore some of Gran Canaria's real volcanic um, sort of um, landscape, some of which you're seeing on, on this here. Beautiful. And how, and how nice to have, you know, great temperatures when it's so miserable here. Oh, well, so oh. lovely. Absolutely wonderful. I think that's why a lot of people escape to the Canaries. So day three, then, we're off to Santa Cruz in La Palma. Um, and a lovely, a lovely island. Yeah, very, yeah. very nice. It's got a real sort of colonial, uh, but Caribbean sort of feel. I remember it being very green. 
Yes, that's right. It is very lush, and you can just stroll into the centre of town really easily. And then we're off to Madeira, a lovely uh, port of call again. Um, you're on the Gulf Stream here, and so again, you've got that year-round pretty nice weather. Flowers it's, and, and bougainvillea everywhere. So again, a very lush beautiful place. Well, I love my gardens and, uh, yeah, the, the, the gardenings, the botanical life, was it was superb. Did you, have you actually been to the actual botanical gardens there? Because they're yes, really yeah, worth a visit. Amazing. Yeah, do you? Beautiful. And you can also go um, wine tasting as well. You've got your famous cable car, so you can go up to the top of the mountain there and have a look down. You've got markets. You've got so much to do. Beautiful views. Then we're at sea, and then we are, on day six, we arrive in Agadir, which is one of Morocco's busiest and most popular cities on the southwest coast, known, again, for its stunning long beaches. So if you're after a bit of, just a bit of chill time on the beach, you've got it, water sports and things like that. Or go and visit the souk, the famous Moroccan market, full of hustle and bustle. Be prepared, you will have people pestering you to buy a few things. You've got to go in with, you know, determined of what you want to buy and haggle as yes, well. Definitely. Always haggle. Um, but again, loads to see and you can go and visit the ruins and all of that. And then, day seven, we're off to Lanzarote. I'm sure many of you might have been on holiday before. Beautiful island. Again, you've got like lovely caves you can visit and wonderful landscape there. Day eight, though, we're in Tenerife. So you've had a week of beautiful cruising and then you're disembarking off the ship and transferring to a very nice hotel for seven nights, all-inclusive holiday. Now, this is what is so incredible. You've had a week's cruise. Yes. All your tips included, then you've also got a whole week, all inclusive in Tenerife. You and have. this just gives you an idea of the whole experience of the Canaries. Oh, absolutely wonderful. And don't forget as well, if the 5th of December doesn't suit you, that's not the only date available. Just give us a ring. We've got a range of dates that we can organise this cruise for you. So in Tenerife, you're not going to be bored for a second. As well as all the beautiful beaches, you have got uh, you could go and visit La Laguna, which is a very beautiful city situated just inland from Santa Cruz. Stunning uh, countryside with loads of architecture to look at, palaces and traditional houses. The pyramids of Gima are worth a visit, as is the Las Canadas National Park. Again, you could go and do a wine tasting trip, go and look at Mount Tady. There's so um, much to do in Tenerife. I cannot imagine how busy we are right now. And remember, your first week of this two-week trip is on board this fabulous Thomson Majesty ship that we're looking at right now. And, you know, when you think you've got a week of all of your food included, by the way, if you go for the 5th of December, that's not your room, you can have one of these. You can have, <laughs> you have. Uh, so the outside, the lovely ocean view there as well. Yeah. And... All of your tips, food are included, and then your week in Tenerife is actually all-inclusive It well. means if you're with your other half and one of you wants to do a hotel, one of you wants to do a cruise, you've got yeah. both. Everybody's happy. I, I think it's a, a fabulous, fabulous start to the yeah. show. Uh, just to remind you, this is what's included for just £669 per person. So you get a free upgrade on the 21st of November and the 5th of December dates though as well. All of your return flights, we'll show you we've actually got flights available from loads of airports as well, but the, uh, the lead price there is uh, based on London Gatwick or London Luton. We've got flights available as I mentioned from all your local airports and a great single price of just 125 and based on the 30th of January departure there as well. And only a deposit needed on selected dates. Now you might be thinking, well I don't want to go on the 5th, I might want to go on uh, the 21st of November or later on in January. Those are the prices that we've got across the dates. Um, looking there, I mean, you know, the 21st of November, you can get an outside for just 749 there. If those dates do not suit you, just give our, uh, say, call centre a call right now. We could find you other dates across the year, couldn't we? Absolutely. And what about airports? We've got a good choice. I'd say that's a pretty good selection. <laughs> <do> as well. <laughs> <laughs> so you're kind of covered, aren't you, no matter where you live, around the UK, which is absolutely fantastic. So again, that's what we're all about here at Planet Cruise. We are agents to help you find the holiday that you want. So whatever we give you on this show, it can all be tailored, it can all be changed. I can always say that's one of the best offers that I've ever seen. Yeah, that in, is great. In several years, yeah. <laughs>